In January 2014, emergency response agencies from around Ventura County gathered to test Ventura County's ability to respond to a catastrophic earthquake scenario. The emphasis of this 72-hour exercise was mass care and shelter. Welcome to Operation Ready Ventura County 2014. This is a drill. Engine squad 50 medic 494. Respond to a partial building collapse with injuries at the Anacapa Village. Cal State PD is on scene. Command 12, town 3, Pac 10, V fire 26. This is a drill. Let's figure out where we go. This is a drill. Medic engine 4, engine 64, engine 26, medic engine 51, engine 81, engine 72, engine 30. The exercise kicked off with a full-scale mass casualty incident, which included the simulated collapse of a dormitory building at California State University, Channel Islands. We based the scenario on an earthquake. Uh, we responded equipment uh, to a downed building or a building that had collapsed during an earthquake with victims trapped and in and around the, the structure itself. Our first responders came, did an assessment, and then ordered equipment. During this exercise, fire and EMS personnel from around Ventura County responded to rescue, triage, and transport 50 injured victims. We had 50 moulage victims. Moulage victims have Hollywood makeup to show realism. Uh, we also used cards depicting how they presented to our first responders. Carried them out when appropriate, walked them out when appropriate. We triaged them, treated them appropriately loaded them into ambulances, and then simulated taking them to an area hospital. This is incredible to be able to bring all the resources together and test to see how we would respond, where the gaps are, and how prepared we are in case an earthquake of this size, 7.0, was to hit Ventura County. Uh, we're very lucky that Dr. Rush opened up uh, the university for us because it's a perfect example, it's a perfect venue, and real, real life experiences of what, what it could actually be like. It's important for us to have this kind of practice so that we know how to work with each other, we know each other. And I've said many, many times to any audience that my colleague presidents don't enjoy the kind of cooperation that I enjoy with the County of Ventura and its agencies. And the beauty of this operation is really getting everyone together. We have six fire agencies, four EMS agencies, three law enforcement agencies, and over 200 volunteers coming together, working cooperatively. That's the strength and the beauty of this exercise. As part of the mass casualty incident, law enforcement officials from Cal State Channel Islands Police Department and the Ventura County Sheriff's Office conducted a mass evacuation operation encompassing the remainder of the university. This operation included 150 non-injured students and faculty members requiring evacuation. Numerous evacuees encountered by law enforcement officers were in need of assistance due to some type of access and functional need. In partnership with the Ventura County Transportation Commission, transit resources from numerous public and private transit operators were dispatched to the university to transport the evacuees to an emergency shelter. Well, as a member of the Transportation Commission, we have had instances where we've used our buses to help uh, people get out of areas where roads have been blocked and they couldn't pass through. So we actually, in advance, and that's what this is all about, in advance of an emergency, have put together agreements so that we are able to instantly be able to release those buses when they are needed. And it's also nice to see all these other agencies working together on these kind of things. So it's just so important to work with our partner businesses, our partner agencies, and, uh, and to see the coordination is just outstanding. We're all safer for it. After transporting evacuees eight miles from the university, they were delivered to a non-traditional Red Cross shelter at Freedom Park in Camarillo. Here evacuees took part in a mass reception processing operation where they were registered into the shelter. The Red Cross um, for this non-traditional shelter is um, really responsible for the feeding piece and also the dormitory management. We also have um, disaster health services present, our disaster mental health, our disaster caseworkers, and our Red Cross logistics team, which is supporting the Red Cross operation. Exercising is, is so important. Um, thankfully, we don't have a whole lot of opportunities to practice our skills 
And so we have found that exercising um, keeps our team sharp, it keeps, keeps them working together as a team, um, it helps us better understand how we interface with our partners. Um, we've been doing a lot of exercises lately and we've really been seeing the benefits of that in some of the recent disasters. So exercising is, is really the key piece to allowing us to be successful in our response. Volunteers from the Southern Baptist Convention and the American Red Cross took part in a mass feeding effort to provide food and logistics for those impacted by the incident. A mobile kitchen facility was set up on site and hundreds of hot meals were served to evacuees. But as a supervisor for the County of Ventura, it's just nice to know that we are always working on doing better and always trying to improve and this is a, a prime example of that. Well, this gives us a great opportunity for us to be able to test our response plans in an event of a uh, public health emergency. All about uh, communication and collaboration with our uh, different uh, partners in the, uh, the first responders um, arena and uh, it will just uh, help us to revise our uh, preparedness plans to be able to do even a better job in terms of uh, coordination and communication. We're out here and uh, we're simulating an earthquake in, in 90 degree earthquake weather so just this is not an unusual situation in California so I think it's so appropriate that they're practicing uh, a situation that, that has happened here before in California. So just even if the selection of this exercise, I think they give a lot of thought to it. And the planning that went into getting to this day, what you see that is happening this day, this looks like just one day. The planning for an event like this, the logistics of it, it takes many, many months to put all this together. It was great to see the collaborative nature of the county. Um, it's never a small feat to bring in a dozen agencies, uh, not only in the planning stage, but then in the actual exercise, to, and then have them work together seamlessly is, is a feat in, its, in itself. Um, Communication is always a challenge, so it's great when you have the opportunity in a real life setting to work through those different uh, communication challenges and walk, you know, walk out of the exercise better off, better prepared.